Welcome back to Friday Briefing. Thank you so much for staying with us. We continue with our show. And remember, we're not yet done with you. We have Willis the Wedmaster coming in at the top of the hour at uh, 10 p.m. And also Bango legend um, Zeng Gala. He's just finished uh, rehearsing and he surely sounds so good. All right, so before all that, let's take a look at some business news. And East Africa Breweries Limited, EABL, has reported a 15% decline in uh, profit after tax, attributing the decline to a one-off tax provision, which slashed performance in what would otherwise have been a relatively good year. Now, the company reported a 5% revenue growth to hit 73.5 billion shillings for the year, as performance significantly improved in the second half with uh, net sales up 10 percent the company's investments in the year reinforced key pillars of its 2022 growth strategy and have started yielding returns with greater focus now on scaling up brands growth in line with the emerging trends take a look since this half started that was, that was january we've posted very strong results it's an indicator that after we finished with the electioneering, everybody went back to what they're supposed to do and do business. So I expect going forward, we've seen the recovery of, of bottled beer doing very well, particularly on the half. We've seen Senator come back strongly, and we continued with our bullish performance in spirits. So going forward, I expect even stronger performance from the business. One of the things that we are pleased about with the new strategy is it's simple, it's clear, and everybody knows what they need to do to... Um, prosecute that strategy in a way that delivers uh, our growth agenda and you've seen evidence of that in half two um, i hope it's not lost on you yuri's comment that in h2 that represented the fastest growth for six years fastest growth for over half a decade so so that's what we want the strategy to continue to deliver and the way we're going to do that in f19 is uh, uh, top of the list is our biggest investment we want to make sure that we fully commercialize that um, that new brewery for a number of reasons firstly there's there's great revenue to be had out of that but secondly commercializing the brewery means we also commercialize uh, the income for 15,000 uh, additional farmers All right, now with uh, AVIC International preparing for the Africa Technology Challenge Season 5, the top winners have a chance of winning a manufacturing contract worth uh, 10 million shillings. The new season aims to empower the youth in technical training institutions with practical skills. A total of uh, 27 teams from across educational institutions from Africa will undergo training where 108 young men and women will acquire new skills. All right, now in many organizations, procurement is still part of a segmented structure in which the procurement of supplies is a discrete activity in the sequence of activities uh, from the acquisition of suppliers to the delivery of a finished product uh, to the ultimate user. Now, the challenge of uh, global competition is, however, increasing, leading many organizations to replace segmented structures. Procurement is changing. These days, procurement officials are the ones procuring even the leasing product. Any organization has to succeed. It must focus on its supply chain procurement and logistics, because that is where a lot of resources are utilized. One is you need a stable legal and regulatory environment. Two, you need access to affordable capital. Thirdly, you need to be able to unlock the potential of human resources that are in that, in that jurisdiction. And last, and certainly not least, is to have effective procurement and supply chain management.